Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Moon Goddess Zero. I will here. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I have a message for Aries, Sun, Moon, or Rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Or if you happen to be cross watching for Aries, you're welcome. Please remember that these messages are general, so only take what resonates and meet the rest for somebody else. If this message resonates with you, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, if you like it personal, my information is in the description down below. All right, Aries, today I'm gonna let the uh, you guys tell me what's going on in your current situation what advice they have for you and uh, we'll see what comes through here okay Aries all right how this spirit wants us today let's go to this reading this reading is for Aries so I'm going to let you hear this number in the shot that's the most important message here for Aries let's go very a strong um, energy here we have disruption okay you could feel like you're going to a tower moment at this time we also have anger okay this could be you or your per uh, or somebody you're dealing with okay it could be very angry curse you after some type of tower moment here and we also have space here so let's see well, let's get a little bit of, uh, deep in here and figure out what is this about okay I'm gonna use the energy oracle deck here to figure out what is this type of this instruction okay start a moment coming to your life there's kind of cast a lot of anger either towards you or towards the person here you guys may feel like you need some type of space to think about the situation so let's see goddess of the moon this is about you stepping into your power here let's see anger and you also have the second chakra occurring your aerial this has to do with something that you're trying to bring to fruition some type of passionate event or passion um things in your life you also have space here and we have space with uh, financial constraints here, okay? This has to do with something that is, is causing you a little bit of anxiety when it comes to your financial situation here. Um, let's see if we can get a clarifying card for um, okay, your area here. Let's see what is this kind of about. Uh, well, you are very surrounded by angels at this time, Aries. We also have their chakra, Archangel, Camel, uh, soul effects is there. If we can get a little bit more about that this is about some type of contract so contract that you have with a person here um and you could be feeling very angry about this aries and that's what I'm saying. yeah and this has to do with some type of like caring connection here and you feel like you need some space because either you or your person doesn't have the financial means to move forward with this connection to uh, fulfill this contract you definitely want some type of blessing abundance in your life um and then what the romance but you feel like you feel tied up by the people around you okay this is has to do with some type of uh soul connection or twin flame here uh so many twin flames somebody being very guarded when it comes to having a victory with you okay uh this person feel like maybe uh, they're not in the financial state to move forward with a caring connection here to fulfill the contract with you or vice versa okay take the messages that they resonate but um i'm actually gonna pull out a twin flame card, um, they can figure out a little bit more about this okay all right let's see this is goddess of the moon here. What is this? This is the of the goddess of the moon. What is this? Yeah, this is somebody who is doing a lot of healing. This person could have been um, healing, stepping to the power and spirituality for a very long time, releasing, purifying, and cleansing their life after 
a very terrific, uh, tragic event here. Okay, see. Yeah, it could be about maybe eight in the last 18 months here, okay? The reason I said that is because I wasn't gonna take this card, but this card was in this deck for a reason, and so it's within the 18 months. So this could have been the last 18 months. Maybe not this person, okay? All right, it's just a lot of anger here when it comes to fulfilling a contract and um, and, and like uh, taking something off the ground here, uh, some type of desire uh, that our soul wants here, okay? What's this about? Boundaries, okay? No, drawing the line enough. Somebody feels like they need to put up some boundaries. This could be you or your person, okay? Some type of shocking or unexpected news okay that are gonna come up to you okay you're not gonna see this coming please uh, but there's an apology coming for you forgive me return sorry okay somebody feel very very sorry about uh some type of situation that happened here in the past with you this person could have been a lot of holding out a little bit of anger and about the boundaries that you put up with this person or something like that. This person definitely owes you an apology or you owe this person an apology. Take the messages out that resonate. Okay, let's see. So this is space and financial constraint. Okay, somebody very, very, very stressed about um, the turbulence, the tension, the arguments, especially when it comes about money here or their financial stability here. In connection okay. withdrawn somebody feels very very uh withdrawn single lonely solitary at this time okay this one kind of feel like uh, you've been withdrawn from them Aries and this is trying to uh, to bring some type of healing to the situation to put some type of boundaries and and give some type of choking news here and some type of apology you don't see coming okay this person is definitely stressed about the situation at this time the person feels withdrawn from you yeah, this is the message here yeah and uh, either you or your person is very full of pride here very arrogant see you stubborn here when it comes to this relationship here okay one of you could have way too much pride so this is definitely an imbalance i see here i think this is why the disruption card came out in the beginning the anger and the space you guys could um just have a lot of uh things going on behind the scenes and you guys are not talking about your feelings you guys are not uh, being uh, absolutely um, truthful about what's going on here and this is causing a lot of stress and I feel uh, this could be either way okay either you or your person here but there's definitely somebody with a lot of ego here a lot of pride There's a, there's a lot of uh, dishonesty, um, deception, and trickery here in this relationship, okay? Wow. Give me one more card, Holy Spirit, and I'm gonna move on. Yeah, and this has to do with some type of memories so or things that are missing or dwelling from the past. This it might feel like bittersweet memories you had with this person. It just feels like you and this person can't move on from this uh, situation at all. There's a lot of conflicts and you begin to try again, different compatibilities, a divine masculine, a spine, commitment, okay? So either you or this person is fine on, some, on, on the other person, okay? They're seeing that maybe you have other options, okay? So either you, either you or your person is spying on each other, uh, finding out what soul connections are getting near you or why not. Um, but definitely there's a lot of pride and ego here when it comes to speaking some type of um, uh, truth here but um, I feel like either you guys know that uh, if you guys don't bring this apology I mean this feels like a missed opportunity to me yeah somebody feels trapped in this connection this connection feels like a missed opportunity you could be in separation or there could be a distant blockage from this person you guys could live in different states here but I feel like a missed opportunity here. All right. All right. What type of connection is this, Holy Spirit? What type of connection is this? Feels like we have a runner and a chaser here. Yeah. 
definitely a twin flame connection here with the Jin Yang uh, card coming out. You very truly know who this person is. Okay, your angels are telling you who this person is, but you definitely have a runner here and a chaser. That's why this connection feels very, very um, difficult to move from. Um, so you guys definitely need to let go the stress, get out of that uh, ego pride, and uh, speak your truth here. A lot of healing coming out in the background as well. Let's see what the um, tarot has to say about this. What is this energy here? Let's see. Yeah, somebody's trying to manifest you here. Yeah, I'm trying to see this situation with a different perspective here. They definitely want a partnership with you, but they feel like there's a lot of chaos and conflict when it comes to this relationship at this time. This person definitely has feelings for you. This person shows up here as the Queen of Cups. Here you see this beginning with a Cancer. Okay, with all oh, a Virgo here. We also have the Hermit here. Or you could have, they could have that in their um, chart. Okay. This person is definitely thinking about this relationship, what type of disconnection it is. This person might be a little bit confused about another offer coming towards them. This could be dealing with uh, two people. It's probably very, uh, this person could be dealing either with you and somebody else. And this person definitely feel like there's a strong soul connection to both of these parties here. And the reason I say that is because we have the um, two of cups here Follow with the uh, five of wands. A hermit kind of just looking towards this um, partnership here, okay? And there's definitely a lot of offer coming in to this person. And they feel like if they take that offer, they might miss an opportunity with you. That's what I'm getting here. Let's see. Let's get some card here. Yeah. It's so like um, you're going to see some type of clarity or some type of. Um, Truth coming out here. There's gonna give you some type of balance in your, in your life. The hierophant, yeah. God is protecting this connection. God is helping you see through here. Okay, this this could be to marriage and uh, and and success here. If one of you guys just get out of the ego, um, <clears throat> and um, speak up your truth. Okay, there's a lot of hidden lies and things and holding back from. What you really, really want. Some of you are very, very strong, standing in your power, not want to take an offer, no way forward to what is that you really want, not making a decision. But this person feels like they're running out of time here. They're looking for happiness, they're looking for something stable, they're looking for marriage, they're looking uh, for something um, stable here. But uh, And they feel like they can have that with you, but at the same time, either you or your person, it's have more multiple choices okay somebody wants to move forward someone who wants to bring in a love offer they bring absolutely wish fulfillment and we also have a high priestess and justice here so this is something that you already know so some of you guys this might be some type of divine intervention divine timing here a new opportunity to to get out of the um of that boredom um, situation that you feel in some type of judgment then calling to you right now about a terror party situation as well wow so a lot going on here with you aries i really can't get too much deep into this so if you like a personal reading you can always book one with me if you want to know more and this message resonating with you but definitely i feel there's a lot of healing that had happened in the last 18 months either with you or your person this was trying to see this um, relationship with a different perspective here but there is things moving forward in their life or in within your life that is causing to have a little bit of conflicts of chaos especially when it comes to the mental state of mind this person is trying to bring some type of clarity about what is going on who is the person who drives for them and they definitely want to be successful once they get this decision here wow 
let's see what type of connection is this however you know this has to be a, a higher level soulmate or twin flame connection here yeah, but what i want to know is a little bit more about this relationship here let's see this is definitely a past life love so your soul remembers this in this connection this should be about in this lifetime or a past lifetime okay so take the message that person is if you guys recognize your soul you're gonna know who this person is yeah and then we have regret someone feels remember for the way they treated you this could be you or your person and we also have a plug working less will help you strengthen this relationship either you or your person uh of working too much not to deal with this relationship and just for you guys are telling you it is time it is time for you to unplug a little bit and deal with this situation we have trust it is safe for you to trust in this situation i guess something is calling you to move forward here and you have chemistry the attraction you feel is mutual so i feel like either you or your person they don't take action right now they're gonna miss this big um opportunity because this person definitely uh have other options here yeah somebody's getting is playing getting play hard to get in this situation and it's probably gonna about to miss some type of opportunity either with you or you with your person take the messages out there. that's a hidden truth about this connection how it's fair i want you this person wants you. This person definitely wants you. Okay. We'll be together again. This person feels like you guys will be together again in the future. I want to feel that way again. Okay. So either you or your person definitely wants to go back to some type of feeling you felt with this person. Either in the beginning of the relationship or so type of the relationship. Period. And we have... I wish I could take back my word. Somebody could would have said a lot of hurtful things, and they definitely wish they could take that those hurtful words back. That's what I want to let you know that you came closer than anyone. And it was my fault that I blame you. Okay. And this person's wondering if you're happy with all of them. Okay. This person definitely you have your, your thoughts and feelings as well. Um wow very intense connection here again i can't go really too deep into this so um if you still have more questions you're more than uh, happy to book a reading with me and we can uh experience this energy again okay we can um see what's going on here how are your angels helping you this time what's the advice here what's the advice here what is the advice here? You say, if you get nervous, focus on service, put your entire intention answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs, okay? Okay, how can you make the world a better place, ladies? And focus on that. Mediumship. You have a natural ability to connect with the part of your loved ones, okay? Some of you guys could be very intuitive. Okay, you can connect with... Uh, with the occult here, with their ancestors, You're receiving downloads at this time. Listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body receiving an accurate message from the divine. You could be an empath healer as well here, Aries. But regardless, you do have um, <clears throat> a lot of intuitive guidance coming towards you. I'm my, probably speaking to another tarot reader here. We have a candle, Michael. Okay, you're working very closely with this powerful candle who's protecting you and guiding you through this situation. So, very beautiful messages here. We're also, in the bottom of the half, shield yourself, protect yourself from the harsh, fear based energies and vision in a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. It is time for you to clear your energy as well. Um, Aries, I feel like a very empath um, energy coming through here. Okay. But this is what I have for you. If you get nervous, just focus on your service, okay? Explore that mediumship feeling. Listen to your current feelings and know that you're protected by a candy Michael here. So 
if this message resonates with you don't forget to hit that like button i would like to have you like share and subscribe my content if you like it personal you know what to do my description is down below and let's see before i let you go what are the other zodiac signs who are in your energy okay aries should be dealing with um another aries a leo aquarius or capricorn Your what numbers you could be seeing at this time you could be seeing the number 7 11 no you could be you might go there a lot 11 11 you could be seeing uh yeah we've got 7 11 four times here so definitely 7 11 could be seen if you can see it one two three as well you could be seeing the number um july 10 could be seen if you can see here july 11 as well july 12 and we, you could also be seeing number 777 and number 1010. All right, Aries. What are the things you could be seeing in the next couple of days? I can tell you this is your reading, Aries. And we have an evil eye charm with a little um, hand thing. We have Namaste. So definitely I'm speaking here with a, a healer here as well. Namaste here. And you have a, a horseshoe here. This brings good luck. Okay. You can feel very lucky at this time as well, Aries. All right. So this is your reading. Um, I hope this helps somebody out there. And again, hit that like button if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.